draft of an order in council authorising your majesty's declaration to be made public. Approved. Draft of an order in council for recording the oath relating to the security of the Church of Scotland to be transmitted to the Court of Session, to be recorded in the books of Sederant and afterwards lodged in the State Papers of Scotland and in the Council Register. Approved. Draft order in Council determining the form of proclamation for proclaiming Your Majesty in the realms and in the British Overseas Territories. Approved. Draft of an order in Council authorising the Lord Chancellor to make use of the Great Seal for sealing all things whatsoever that pass the Great Seal until another Great Seal be prepared and authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council authorising the Lord Privy Seal, if need be, to make use of the existing Privy Seal until another Privy Seal is prepared and authorised. Approved. Drafts of three orders in council authorising Your Majesty's Principal Secretaries of State, the Lord Chancellor of the Exchequer and the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, to use the existing seals until other seals be prepared and authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council authorising Your Majesty's Secretary of State for Northern Ireland to make use of the existing Great Seal of Northern Ireland until another seal be prepared and authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council authorising your Majesty's First Minister of Scotland to make use of the Great Seal of Scotland until another Great Seal of Scotland be prepared and authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council authorising Your Majesty's First Minister of Wales to make use of the existing Welsh Seal until another Welsh Seal be prepared and authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council authorising the public seals authorising the respective pub public seals lately in use elsewhere than in the United Kingdom to be made use of until new seals be prepared and their use duly authorised. Approved. Draft of an order in council confirming Your Majesty's wishes in relation to the Sovereign Grant Act 2011 to continue the tradition of surrendering the hereditary revenues, including the Crown Estate, to your government for the benefit of all, in return for the sovereign grant, which supports your official duties as head of state and head of nation. Approved. Drafts of two proclamations. One, appointing the day of Her Late Majesty's state funeral as a bank holiday in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Two, appointing the day of Her Late Majesty's state funeral as a bank holiday in Scotland. And of two orders in council, directing the Lord Chancellor to affix the Great Seal to the pro proclamations. Approved. I now invite Your Majesty to sign both proclamations. And that, Your Majesty, concludes today's business for the Council. <laughs>